What's up guys? It's the end of the day before we start this video. I feel inspired. Obviously you can see I look like crap. A lot of people commented on my Facebook post, why don't you wear an old dirty shirt? This was an old throwaway shirt. So I knew when I wore the shirt today, I'm gonna throw it away. But I posted a picture on Facebook with me looking like this. And, uh, you know, of course, you got the haters right away. You got the guys making fun of you. I looked at one guy um, on his Facebook page. And he's like, you know, he called me. I look like a dirty old plumber. And that guy, you know, just a fat thing. The usual thing. And then you go to the Facebook. They have a nice Mustang. Um, looking out fly. Nice shirts and stuff. You scroll down a little bit. Oh, my roommate. So you got all this money to spend. But you can't even afford your own house, right? But you have time to talk trash on Facebook. So, the reason I'm sharing this with you guys, I know there's a lot of you guys out there because I got the emails that want to get better, that want to make money, they don't want to be dependent, especially with this pandemic, man. When this stuff flies off, it will fly off. When the stuff collapses, there's going to be so much opportunity to make money in this business. If you want to do this, so we started this morning, the video will start in a second. I had Zach with me, I had Casey with me, I had Tatiana with me. They're at the warehouse, they're cleaning up the warehouse a little bit. But hopefully at this time they're already going home. So they are working hard. And then I sent them home. I told Casey, I'm like, you know what? Just how it tick. I'm gonna work extra. I'm gonna come back here and start loading this truck. Just started with this. It's right here. This was a 10 by 30 completely packed. I'm gonna get one more truck load. So when we start unloading tomorrow, we don't have to wait. So tomorrow we'll just go to the warehouse, unload it. I'm trying to get mainly stuff that stacks pretty easy and then tomorrow we'll just come back and get all the loose stuff. And that's just because I'm work hard and that's just how I tick. And all of my friends, they're the same way. Rommel, Sikanda, you guys know him. His uh, cousin now, Whites, they're working hard. And my friend Ryan, my friend Mark, it's all the same thing. And I constantly get those messages on YouTube. Renee, you're fake. This is not true. We can't make any money. And then they go back, play their PlayStation. So it's up to you guys. I share so much with our life, what we do. And I look like crap. Most people would not go on video. You know, remember, I'm also on television and I don't consider myself a celebrity. But pretty much anywhere I go, people come up. So it's the real deal. You can make money. You can change your life. You can be successful if you're willing to work hard. If you find yourself spending a lot of time playing PlayStation, watching movies, big deal, smoking weed, which a lot of people are doing, and you can't really talk about it because people get really upset. If you find yourself doing a lot of that stuff. All right, guys, quick break. I don't know if you heard it right before we stopped, but there was this tweak at the gate in the car. And he was like totally yelling, going crazy. He wanted me to take a key, go in another unit for him. And uh, I told him, I can't do that. I don't work here. It's after hours. You need to call the facility. The manager actually came out, like the facility, not the maintenance manager, my friend Julio. And uh, he actually came out and um, there's somebody blocking the gate again, which is weird. The guy actually came out and told him, was like, look, you can't. We have trouble. We have break-ins. It's not even your units and your dad's name and stuff like this. And, uh, okay, this guy's making sure the gate closes. Good smart. So, um. That's the problem with 24 axis. Usually when I work late like this, I mean, I haven't done it in a long time. I usually get my stuff done during the daytime, but I usually carry. Um, Cause I rented a truck today and had Tatiana with me and then it would be super hot. I didn't feel like carrying, which is obviously a mistake. Cause this guy was like going all crazy on me, started yelling at me, cursing and stuff like this. I'm like, dude, I don't work here. I cannot just go on somebody's unit. He's like, but I promise you. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know who you are. You want to give me a key, go in a unit, get you a blanket or something out of it. I don't know who you are. So, um, you know, then he kept on yelling at me. I told him, like, look, I'm dead maintenance guys today. I'll tell him to come talk to you. As I'm walking away, he starts yelling. And I'm like, and so I had to turn around. I'm like, you see, you come across as high as hell. You don't even comprehend what I'm saying. And I'm really getting tired of you yelling at me. You need to stop yelling. So, which that's the only way they listen. Because all of a sudden, they try to pressure you and put all this pressure on you. So you, they do what they, you want. So they get done what they want done. So I kind of had to be a little rude to him, which I really don't like doing goes against my belief system a manager went to talk to him now he went to the other side probably trying to hop the fence got to pay attention make sure he doesn't mess with the manager so i gotta help him out if he does but i don't know crazy as people but what i was saying before guys if you want to make a difference in your life 
if you're done after spending most of your time on social media and stuff like this, the money's out there. If you're willing to work, the money is so easy. And you know, people constantly say the stuff is not real, Storage Wars is not real. Storage Wars is a reality show, but it's based on reality. Not as a few factors, and they edit their storylines in and they bring different people in and stuff like this. That's fine, but the show is still real. Do you really think I own all this stuff, spend all this rent, sell all these things because we don't make money? Don't really make much sense, right? Think about it. Also, when we were at that video you guys seen last when we spent the $25,000 to $26,000 a couple days ago. If you haven't seen that, watch that. We'll have a bunch of unboxing coming too. But when the guy spent that, then uh, there was a guy that he's like, all he could say, he said, it's like all fake. I'm only buying for the show. Yeah, they were filming that day, but I wasn't a show. There's my good buddy, Julio. D did he jump the fence? How's it going, guys? No. <laughs> no. You probably, oh, this is, it's not life. It's going to be for YouTube. So, but you probably deal with crazy ass people all day, huh? All the time. Yeah. See, I was just telling people, usually when I work late, back in the day, I mean, who you see me here working at probably two, three in the morning? Yeah. You know, so like, I'm, this is a huge facility. It's very hard to get a 24 hour gate, but again, long term relationships, you get these things. But I usually carry just for a reason because you never know who might want to jump one of those gates or. We just check the security, they didn't get anything, so we're okay. Okay, so, cool. Well, hopefully, no, I'm not worried. I mean, it is what it is, you know? I, I got God in my heart. It's all good. I see you. I, I, I would prefer to carry though, but I'm good. Don't worry. Have a good night. All right, take you later, man. How long are you going to stay? Huh? How long are you going to stay? Probably, I'm going to fill this truck, so probably not a couple hours. So, I don't know if I get tired. We'll see. I got you. God bless you. If you have problems with that guy, just come get me. So, I'm not scared. I mean, I prefer carrying because it's much easier. I'm getting old these days. Stuff hurts. But um, yeah, so this guy, we were buying the locker and all he could say was like fatty, fatty. That's, that's all he literally said to me when I spent 26,000 because he wanted to buy the lockers. So I almost want to reach out. I, I hope he understands how ignorant his comment was and how defeated you are. You need to change something the way you do business. So because guys like me, Ivy, even Daryl sometimes, you know, definitely my friends like Rommel and Mark and Ryan and Steve and you know mario and riverside and kevin and riverside we will outwork the crap out of you and we'll just be stacking them hundred dollar bills all i do is i stack my money and i buy crypto and i buy gold and silver and i buy stocks not too much stocks because the stock market is too high now we just bought a commercial piece of real estate i'm trying to buy my neighbor's property they're not ready to sell yet but i'm thinking about offering them 10 bucks over a square foot just to buy it so you can do it too. It's out there, man. You're in complete control. And one day when you get to the point where they all want to give you advice and they all want to make fun of you and you have banks full of money and you know you work hard and you feel good about yourself and you know what you do is good, then you know you're killing it. And you can do it and I believe in you guys. And I do get a lot of emails that you guys send me, especially the guy in San Francisco I talk about all the time. I read them. I reply sometimes. So I reply sometimes on the comments. I mean, actually, we try to reply in a lot of comments, but you guys can do it. So this is already too long. You probably don't want to see all this, but let's go look at the units. I'm going to load some more stuff. I'll probably do an update at the end of this video. Hey, guys, this is a little bit of B-roll. So this is a 10 by 30. This unit's been literally in here for like four years, I think. I just haven't had a chance. But there's probably like $50,000 worth of stuff in here, maybe more. I don't even know. It's been like so long. Like, check out all that ham radio gear down there that's all from that indian hoarder house we bought then up here is like stuff you know these are some kind of board games but that's probably all good stuff and i mean most of this stuff right here came from the warehouse that either needs needed some work or some of it um some of it was stuff that we already pulled for ebay and then we just never had a chance let's go 30 feet deep here's stuff that we bought at dance auction hey look this is all like dungeons and dragons so it's this box this box some kind of toys that should be a sensu yeah it's actually a sony receiver all these yearbooks right here people always sell them to local people and swap me for like five ten bucks we save them we actually put them on ebay we used to run a lot of them like i got like seven eight hundred saved up and then we put 99.99 on them so they just need a little cleaning they're dusty not a big deal and uh once that happens um they sell slow but you know what if i sell a hundred of them at five bucks or 50 of them at um what am I trying to say here? Yeah, 100 of them at five bucks is 500 bucks. Or if I sell the same 100, just five and 100, it's the same money, right? And I got still free inventory. But this stuff is all oh, that's some kind of old skateboard down there. 
I mean, this unit, if you were to see this unit at auction, you'd be making a lot of money. A lot of this stuff, too, is also from the, um, the beginning, right? It's the Indian Hoarder House. I think the beginning is Indian Hoarder House and then some other eBay stuff that could put aside. And then uh, the rest is kind of like stuff from... Um, the rest is stuff. The second half is just stuff from the warehouse, so we'll see. I mean, it's super hot, but we'll just get it done. Probably work in his unit the next two, three days. Casey should be here in a minute. We'll take some right, more video. Right here, Renee, Casey, guess what this is? This is a storage unit that I would like to know. How long has it been here? Uh, four or five years. See how he says it without confidence. So four or five years, how much we've been paying a month? Like four to five hundred dollars. No, it started at like 280, but unfortunately this facility keeps on going up. But also, I mean, the storage unit, now it hasn't been here, it's been about three years. So he said that there's stuff here that's from our other warehouse. So if you've ever watched Storage Wars, you know what I'm talking about. Remember that one episode? See, one but Casey's messing, with, Casey's messing with you guys because she is uh, misleading a lot of the people. When your business is so good where you're constantly buying and selling, whoever saying this business you buy and sometimes you pay store, there's at least fifty thousand dollars in it. I might be I wouldn't be shocked if there's a hundred thousand dollars in it. And there's stuff here from the Indian house now that I turned around and see. And it's, there's, there's still good stuff. It's deeper than it looks. It's thirty feet deep. Half wow. half of the warehouse, uh, half of the stuff is probably the Indian Ohoda house. There's some of the uh, Dan Dodson uh, model deal, which you can see there we spent like thirty three thousand. There's Dungeons and Dragons and stuff. Also, this unit, we've been using it off and on. Like, it gets half empty, then we fill it up with something again. So, um, when you have the business, yes, you spend sometimes money on rent and you rotate it. But you're not going to buy six more units for 5000 that contain, like, thirty or $40,000 worth of stuff because you're afraid to spend some rent. That doesn't work, right? It's okay. o overall, what's our company portfolio been doing the last 10 years? Tell them or two. Awesome. Yeah. Our cash? Up, right? Our, our inventory? Uh. <laughs> our inventory up, right? Our yep. high-end stuff up, right? Okay. Our child labor usage up. <laughs> We're getting rid of the kids soon, actually. See, we have one here. Yeah. Our daughter. That's, a, that's an eighteen-year-old man. He's getting paid. <laughs> so, and it's. Uh, Wait, I'm not getting paid. And no. by the way, we've only yeah, been here are. for five minutes, and look at how dirty Renee already. Is. Okay, they've been here for five minutes. I've been here for twenty-five minutes, and I also I did the boxes right up front, which is always dusty. And then, so what are we gonna do? Like all our stuff is going up. So you need to, th like when you guys, when you guys do business, you need to look at the overall. You cannot just cry about little things because there's always negative. Like right now it's August. I don't want to be doing this in August, but we're gonna clean this unit because we have time right now. It's gonna be about three trips with this truck and we're gonna put in a warehouse. Then we have another 10 by 25, which we're gonna do. Then we're gonna get the three units, which is spent 26,000. And then I'm gonna get a toy unit if I have the space. And then after that, we only listing, unless I buy another unit, so. Uh, but that's just how business goes, but this stuff is great. So we're gonna do, I already took two minutes of B-roll. We're gonna watch right now. And then we're just gonna let this video run. I might put the B-roll, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put the B-roll, how the unit looked in the beginning, at the end of this video. And we're just gonna start loading boxes and we give you guys little previews. So Tatiana, you just roll this. We're gonna show print little previews of videos. All right, I'm gonna keep on. Hey, look, this is all Dungeons and Dragons. Wow. Actually, oh. I don't want this to get crushed. Here, open up the back of the van. I mean, the back of the Lexus. It's right here, the switch. So there's a lots of things here that you can tell that it's going to be um, a little bit of a hard work because number one, open boxes. Number two, have your stuff in the back. Number three, boxes that are not in boxes. Oh, wait, no, books that are not in boxes. And yeah, but it's okay. We'll work hard. We'll take our time. Pretty picture. Hey, come take a look at this nice. It's a little dirty here too, but that's okay. Come take over here. Don't show the license plates. I don't think I did. I mean, it doesn't really matter. All our stuff is registered to a mailing box. See, it's another thing, guys. Security. Like people on eBay use their home addresses. You never use your home address for anything. Check this out. That's actually in there. Last time I remember when I got this, this was pretty complete. The box was just messed up, but complete. And then um, I forgot to put this on. But see, this is all ham radio equipment here. I just loaded up. Wow. Uh, Super cool. Look at the little fan inside. So cute. Yeah, it's all older technology. This is like probably 1980s, 1970s. But people love this stuff. And it's also easy to sell because people work on those all the time anyway. So, you good, sir? Yeah. You know what to do, right? Yeah. Okay. This one here. Oh, here's another box. I don't, I don't think I showed this one. This other one is in the B footage. So you guys see this in the B footage. But look at this, Sebring Ray Lindbergh's. I think these are only like 30 bucks a piece, but easy 30 bucks, they're all sealed. 
Michael Wett Stingray. I sold these before. They were like 40 So we had a lot of this stuff, obviously. Check this out. Check this game down there. Perfect children puzzle. Look at this. Care Bear attachable. All cool stuff. Wilt and cake tops. Were Care Bears around when you were a kid? Yeah, actually, I used to watch Care Bears a lot. I never watched Care Bears. Uh, only a little bit. Care Bears are pretty cool. Yeah. But it's been a long time. I watched Scooby-Doo and Wow Wow Wubsy. Oh, hey, what's this? Gundam? Gundam Mini. Anime. So, like when I say, you know, that's $50,000, these units. Uh, I talked about these yearbooks in the in a B roll, so we'll talk about this later. If you guys want to get a valuable lesson, I think it's a valuable lesson. Is the B roll some fancy sushi roll? No, B roll means I actually what B roll really means is when they film, they take shots of everything else and then they put it in with the editing. Oh. Like all these games in here. Oh, Pokemon. Pokemon. This is, this is probably Japanese different. edition. It's better when it's Japanese edition, right? Eh, I, well, I think a lot of times it's rarer, but it depends. Yeah. But well, like in records, you said. If it's in yeah, another so language. Yeah, so on records, you want to get the ones with the Japanese import covers. We had one at our store. Yeah, so and we probably priced it higher. So I'm just showing you guys some of the stuff that's in. I mean, like I said, this is 30 foot deep. We might even make two videos out of it. But you have to film about, give us about half an hour filming and then just, in case you crap boxes and just show it to them. So here, this is another IDW. Star Wars coloring books down there. Go through it and then I'll look. No, I loaded it. MPX. What's yeah. this? MIDI patch transmitter. Because you know what this stuff is, I don't know. Deck protector. So like I said, yeah, we're storing stuff, but what are you going to do? Just send this stuff to an auction house? No. I mean, this one is heavy. I mean, did you discuss what that is? I discussed it. Your book's in the B-40, so that'll be at the end of the video. Check this one out. Military dress blues. If you find that, that's always worth good money. I, I know, I'm sorry. It's just the beginning because yeah, that's stuff we put at the end. Blue. So just push it to the side and just don't stress. I mean, look, we're not working. Like when we move to the store, we don't have super time pressure. So we work smart and let's stay hydrated. It's Sushi fresh. sounds good right now. What sounds good? Sushi. We should hire a butler so we can just like make us all this food while we work. You're my kid. You always talk about food, literally. <laughs> Let's see what's in this box. Okay, so this must be from the Indian Hoda house. Old camera. These are trash. Oh, there's a whole box of trash bags. Well, we definitely oh, can't I use that. I love trash bags. You do love trash bags? I love trash bags. I have a collection of them. <laughs> oh, you know what? What? I remember this umbrella. Can you get this, Mommy? This is oh, falling. Oh, yeah, this is from the Indian Hoda Wait, can you grab the box that's falling on me? Yeah, I'll get it. <laughs> this is from the Indian Order House. So in the woman's uh, thing upstairs, she had her funeral dress right next to her wedding dress. And on this a mannequin. on a mannequin. Check it out. That was in her bedroom. Was it was so, so scary. Creepy. It was creepy. That's what it's from. I just saw it right now. That's beautiful, though. Wow. wow. But sadly, it's a little rough. Uh, it's bad condition, but still, it's pretty cool. So. There's a whole box of reels. Let's see. What do you see? Family color. Boys football. Okay, I think I kept these for somebody. In case I get contacted if we bought the unit, I'm not sure. I'm gonna check this out, see if I can find it. But it's been so long, I gotta get Oh my gosh, it's the original Mona Lisa. Oh, careful how you take it out. Don't, 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 don't only open the boxes where you can see, because otherwise okay, the box. No, it's okay, just load it. Oh, look, there's a lion here. It looks, I don't know what it is, but normal. normal. We're not totally unboxing right now. We're just kind of showing some idea. It's just a fun video. You guys can dig with us, see what we have it. And some of the stuff right here, guys, is probably going to be junk, too. Because at the end, when we're loading stuff, we just put it in there, and it's just the plan eventually was just it goes to the store, process it. Did you show that that pot has a $295 price tag? Oh, yeah. Anybody who watches our videos, you know, we know we used to have hundreds Signed of Signed at the end. Sorry, I can't really get to it. There's stuff in the ground here. But... So this box right here is like her. Oh, actually, here, check what this is. I think that's a straight jacket in here. Or maybe it's an old. Oh, no. Oh, man, this is falling apart. This is probably going to go in the trash. But... What is it? I have no idea what's these. I see a gumball machine. Can you spot it? I spy with my little eye. A gumball machine? Okay, when I play, I spy right, right there. Here. <laughs> oh, yeah. This what is, is fanfare. Rubberized cotton made in Japan, but it's like, it's literally falling apart. Well, don't... Oh, it's on the inside. Yeah. 
I just put it up there. Yeah, I'm gonna bring this box, but I think you can use it as a bottom box. It's a weird box. Okay. Look, there's more of those. Uh, Whoa. Oh. That's what you don't want to do. <laughs> I'll just put it up to the side. So we used to have uh, these Kachina dolls up here. Yeah. Two boxes, I see, but there's probably more. So yeah, some of this end stuff is stacked that throw this up. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I love this rug. Yeah, we should keep it. No, we shouldn't. <laughs> we Stop should it. keep it. It's very cute. Make sure to get good footage, not crazy footage because you're hoarding. <laughs> this is all vintage clothing. I think a lot of this stuff came from the hoarder house. But, like, I mean, she had stuff literally back to the 60s, so we have to check a lot of this stuff. Uh, so it's vintage 60s clothing? Yeah. So when we tell you guys we have some of these preview videos coming, I mean like a lot of these unboxing videos, everything that you see here will be unboxed, you know, hopefully within the next six months and we're gonna do a lot of it on video. Oh, feels like another rug here. And then, these boxes are kind of heavy right here so I think you should pick them up, please. It's that silver right here, hold on. I'm just trying to get these bags. Okay. These are right. carpets. Carpets, yeah. Down. I can take one. Hey, check this out, guys. So when you see these check writing machines from back in the day, a lot of them are like 100 bucks on eBay. You want to pay attention to those? That one's super cool. Yeah, people like them. You don't have to wait for me. You can just blow random boxes. I'm not showing every box. Uh, if you see something you can load, just take it loaded. Except that one. That's just so on it. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to say. There's some like corners. Oh, these are cute. Okay, let's see this now. It's just silver. See what this is. See what it is. It doesn't feel like silver. You okay up there? Yeah. You say hi to Sack? How's it going, guys? How's it going? <laughs> the big Dave Hester supporter. <laughs> How much money have you earned with Dave Hester so far? Quite a bit, actually. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, so these must be uh, brand new jewelry boxes. Oh, what's the jewelry look like? It's just the boxes, oh. but it's great because when we ship stuff on, um, when we ship stuff on eBay, we can actually use these. Right? Awesome. Can we turn that up? Yep. Oh wow! I wonder what this is. There's some more stuff here at usual. Just some sneak peeks of what's in the corner right here, not in boxes. Uh, why don't we take a video of the Commodore monitor? I remember as a kid when we actually saw these like at, <coughs> I don't remember, whatever the German equivalent Sears was, and I got one of these for my um, Commodore 64 and later on I got an Amiga. But I checked this out, guys, you know, when we store stuff, so this is from the Indian Hoarder house. These seem to be Tiffany lamps right here. So at least one base, two shades. Actually, it looks like, well, maybe two bases. So I'm gonna put this aside. These are really nice lamps. Like I said, you know, yeah, we pay for storage, but we don't store your average storage stuff. Like, if you would have bought this locker, you could have probably paid $20,000, and you would have told all your friends how hard you scored. And, you know, $20,000 for one locker is a crazy amount of money. So, this anyway. is going to be a fun box to unbox. So, these are Corona trays, Coke trays, other beer trays, and huge spit platoons. So. Oh, yeah, the we had a couple in the store. We are selling for 50 bucks. Yeah, no, oh, That's oh, why oh. I said. Um, Casey, you need help. Help. Take Technical this one if you difficulty. can. It's not too heavy. Okay. These are all Indian baskets. These sold great in the store. Oh, check, check this out. Kachina dolls. But these are all kind of rough condition. But here, these are, should, should be World War II airplane stuff. And then pictures. This is probably some kind of Native American museum. Old Berlin Treptow entrance. Something in Berlin. Alright, it's been working five minutes. This is yeah, put this in the back of the car. And then stuff like this, guys, a lot of people don't put value in these. Oh, I think there's bug spray here. Here, check these out. <laughs> so this stuff brings really good money on eBay. You want to look for slides and see what the subject matter is. So this is 1973 baseball school charger game. So there's a 1973 charger game in here. Slides from a 1973 charger game. Uh, I can't read the rest of this. Indian guides. 
so like slides guys if you find special slides like from the early days of disneyland and stuff like this hey watch out that's open so some of this stuff here casey you want to hop up there and just help them like pack some stuff together so it's stackable so guys slides important good money you get a butt shot uh i don't know i wasn't paying attention Marbles, Boy Scout stuff. Even those, like uh, some of the patches can be worth a lot of money. Marbles are always good. These look like newer ones, but I usually don't sell marbles because I don't know enough about bottoms, so I just keep them because a lot of them can be a lot of money. Then we got some old coins, coinage here, English. Uh, something we'll look at in the future. Just giving you guys teaser videos. Like this speaker right here is obviously junk. Can you, uh, what's this? That's a tumbler. All right, let me work to it. It's a tumbler for cleaning stones and jewelry. Huh. So it's like, it has like a wheel on it and then you push the stones against it. Because remember, they were working a lot of stones. Like we got, I don't know if it's in this unit, but we had boxes of turquoise and stuff. All these should be some sort of Indian baskets or spittoons. This is copperware. You know. Okay, here's another fun box. Hey, I just see these things, right? I think I know what these is. We're gonna come back to these. Uh, these might be all from the guitar deal. They actually might be from the stone deal. But look at stuff like this. I remember this when I found it, I think. This should be old Japanese. Uh, maybe not. It must be a different one. But it's an old looking class. It's kind of cool. So cool. Yeah, just cool stuff. Wine openers. Power meters. So it's gonna be a fun box. Binoculars, check this out. It's probably German. Marine band, Honer, Germany, old one. So uh, a lot of this stuff will end up on eBay. Some of it might go to the local swap meet, but a lot of it will go on eBay. Uh, here's a box for Ragnar class. Uh, I don't know, it's packed up really good. That's probably some kind of Native American thing. Copper wires. Hey guys, so I was wrong. I thought we only have like the first third Indian Horda house, but we're probably about halfway in the unit. And I can tell just by the boxes because we wouldn't pack, pack it this way. But this is all Indian Horda house. This is all stuff that came from the jewelry making room and also from the garages. I think those two guitar cases, that <laughs> might be the first pieces from the warehouse. Sorry, it's really dusty. So check here wall phone, wall phone. Oh, here it is. I knew we had a lot of cast iron. I thought we sold it all. All this is cast iron right here. So, damn, that would have been good for the store because that stuff will sound like crazy in the store, but also online too. And there's another wall folder down there. Vintage Hartman luggage. Coming out right, yes. I mean, so this is gonna be three quarters Indian Horda House unit. And the reason I call it Indian Horda House, guys, is because that's what we call it the videos, Indian Horda House. So if you want to go back, and you know, the reason I say, they had a Native American store, obviously, they were collecting that stuff, so everything is West done, everything is, um, everything is Native American, or just like old antiques, so, it's actually a great deal, I still have these. So, and you know, all this stuff is profit, so people say, Renee, you got all this money sitting, you need to get your money back, like, we paid, um, I don't exactly remember, I feel like... It was $30,000, right? We lost that $5,000 deposit. Oh, yeah. It's $30,000. Uh, so these are all brand new Beanie Babies. These are Garcia Bears down there. So these are sleeves. We'll probably just sell them online, five bucks a piece or whatever they're worth. And uh, guys, just in case, so this guy's... Oh, it's Peace Bears. So, of course, I'll look them up first. So there's a lot of this stuff still directly from the factory. But when you guys say, like, we paid $30,000 on that deal... We probably made well over $100,000 already, plus everything you see here. This is like never touched. We basically got it and we just filled up the storage and we just never got the point to it. And then at one time, the store, like our store, it actually started becoming a problem. Our store was getting so full of um, Native American stuff and Western stuff that we almost looked like a Native American store. So this just stuff went in storage and then when, by the time we sold everything, we never restocked. So even though people were waiting for it, but we just never got to it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I mean, we have, but we buy more deals. I mean, look, right now we're sitting on like, I mean, we got the comic book quarter house. We got 2,000 boxes we never even opened. That's probably half a million dollars worth of stuff in there. And then we also have those 25,000 action figures we bought. So oh. it's like, you know. But when we get to it, we get to it. These are so cool. I just think. Right, Zach? 
cool. Well, we'll get to, stuff. We get to it, right? More trunks here. It's kind of scary since it's so tall. Oh, here's the tumbler that you were talking about. Tumbler, yes. So we had like several of these. I think we were getting like 150 in the store for these, maybe 200, I forgot. Here's the gumball machine I was talking about. Cool. Yeah, it looks like a newer one to be honest. Yeah. So. Oh, look at this old barrel. I think barrels are cool. Can I put this in the bottom box? Yeah. Let's don't put too much more stuff, guys. So you see, like, all these trays they kept on, like, they had a storage, well, I guess it was the garage, which was just filled with these Chiquita boxes and also the basement. And there's stuff that's, like, way old. Like, check out that old Kirby. Where's the old Kirby? Right there, that vacuum. Oh, I, thought, I was thinking of, like, the character Kirby. Yeah, you guys, you guys want to learn something? Just go really funny. Go on eBay right now and type in vintage Kirby or antique Kirby vacuum and go highest first. You'd be surprised. That's some of them that are over like a thousand bucks. Apparently people collect vacuum cleaners. But see boxes right here. Look that old typewriter. It's a toy typewriter, I think. That's so cool. Yeah. What's that? This? A little can. So we're not going to go th totally through the boxes. We're just giving any teases. I want to go through the boxes. I know you do. <laughs> There's horns right here. Wow. And these are lighting. This is trash. How old do you think the animals were, if it's real? I don't know. I mean, a lot of the stuff they had was from the 60s and stuff. So That's I mean, crazy. This is some kind of doctor instrument for uh, ears. checking ears, yeah. Desango diagnostic instrument. Shake, shake, shaver. A drawer or cabinet we'll probably have somewhere. More stuff like that. Look, old fuses. Even these sometimes people collect, or they actually need them for stuff. What's that? I don't know what it is. Hey, just a, a fuse? Yeah. So when you have, you know when you have circle panels, like circuit breakers, or like also electric pieces, then you have to fuse in it to break it. So if any kind of power shock breaks, instead of breaking the whole machine, it breaks the fuse. That's the oh. latest. Dead definition. I'm sure somebody's going to be like, Renee, you explained that wrong. I'm this very inquisitive. Very inquisitive. Check this one out. Um, Christmas stuff. Look at this. Oh. Oh, that's our so rights, pretty. our liberties. Something we need to remember these days. So, check this guy out. I have like several of this guy. I know he's really early, but and I, I'm pretty sure it's valuable too. I just don't remember where he comes from. So I have Transformers. To I don't, that's not a transformer. It's a, it's an earlier Japanese one. Oh. But, uh, um. It's it's kind of like the same era, era, but it's not. All right, let's get some more boxes. Um. We'll bro okay, actually let's wait see, check on the bottom of its foot usually on the bottom of its foot it would say something not right here it's just, uh, it's on the bottom of the side uh, i don't see any stamps but i mean it's not going to be that hard it's it's like an earlier transformer so it's probably uh what's that with t that co company in japan but it's it's a cool piece i'll bet you it's worth at least 100 even in this rough condition so i have bigger ones like twice the size too watch out because the bottom's broken on that one yeah and boom it goes Cuckoo cloth. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> Cuckoo. More Kirby Vintage Systems. Oh. So, all right, we'll go back. We'll Show take some, We'll take more footage. Well, the good oh. news is this is all in in a hoarder house. This is all merchandise that we've never opened, never looked at. It just basically got loaded. Just loaded a whole bunch of these. Of course, this doesn't have a price tag. Riflemen. This is all Western decorations. So, um, $95 price tag on here. See how this is completely full. We're about halfway in. We had a lot of suitcases, trunks. We've never opened these suitcases and trunks. Or maybe we open them quick to see, to make sure stuff is in there. But like these boxes here, never open. Barbie. Mama. Out of dolls. It's an old one down here. Hey. Oh, that's an old can. So, this stuff will be on future unboxing videos. So, if you guys haven't subscribed, take this opportunity and subscribe, thumbs it up, like it, and you get to see over the next few months what's all in here. Soon we're gonna be trapping a video a day. We'll just go through this stuff. And then even a better part, we'll be oh, that hurt. Yeah, I put my foot underneath the lift gate, step with my other foot on top of it. That's pretty stupid. But the best part is pretty much 90% of the stuff we're actually gonna sell through eBay. So you have an opportunity to buy all this stuff. Check this out, guys. I want to show you this in a second, but even this is cool. Little nightstands for spools and stuff. Spool cotton. I had a sign for my Let's just put it in here. Somebody will like it. That would be a nice little item. We probably can sell it online. But check this out right here. Marlite, California, New York, USA traffic control box. 
Okay, let's take it out to the left. It's not too heavy. So this might be just the guts. But you'll definitely see this piece on eBay. I'm guessing it's a few hundred. It's locked. That's pretty cool. Traffic control box. What's this, probably 1960s or older? Cool little piece. American history, man. It's awesome. It looks like it was yellowed one time, then they overpainted it green. Yeah. So, cool piece. All right, let's go back to loading that. Right? Here's one thing that I want to point out. Okay. So here's the telephone thing, just a closer look. We have more cast iron, but in these lockers, there's more cast iron. So I wonder if there's more in here. Let's see. Yeah. That's all full of cast iron. You know, I was looking for that because that stuff was selling like crazy in the store. And I thought we sold everything. So now we find it here. I just loaded a trunk full of cast iron. It's a bunch of cast iron here. We probably have a hundred pieces of cast iron. Average it at about 40 bucks a piece. You know, so just a cast iron in here is four thousand dollars. And you said you were gonna have a story about this. Uh okay, let me clean some stuff off. Okay. Let's see if we can get to it. I think right, guys, this might so be. From I don't the music know if dealer. these are I think these are from that ABC music store deal we bought like five years ago. I could be wrong. Oh no, I'm wrong. These are not. Oh, where's that? Aren't these from the garage from the Indian No, these are from the ABC music store. So each one of these drawers, this one's obviously not that exciting. Oh actually, mm, I'm not sure. Hold on. Can we take some, Casey? I need to look at it. Actually, no, I think that's what it is. So, hey, when we unload these, we want to keep these up front. Yeah, so look, each one of these, like, each one of these is just filled with guitar parts. But a lot of stuff goes back to the 50s and 60s. Like, look, a little Fender instruction manual. And this is still Fender Fullerton, California. Perfect condition. Vintage Series 62. Is this a remake? This might be a remake. Yeah, this is a remake. But here are Fender straps. So that's like really old pickups in here and like stuff that's just gonna be worth a lot of money. Here, Fender cable. So each one of these boxes, okay, tell them to stack these but put the drawers facing the wall or box, obviously. Let's see what's in here. And when we unload these, these are all gonna go in that one counter at the beginning. Clips, drum rubber tips. So this is a drum box, this is obviously not good. But this is saxophone stuff. This looks like the music stands. Made in Japan. So some of these are just full of guitar parts. There's another one. Just this a little bit heavy. You okay with this? This one is drum. This is also all drum parts. But anybody that knows parts and stuff, parts bring a lot of money. So I don't know, maybe maybe I have the guitar stuff in a different warehouse and these are just the drum pieces or the bottom four is the guitar pieces, I'm not sure. I don't know what this is, this might be something different. What's this, nuts, screws, knobs. I don't know, 100K audio in there. Trust nuts assemblies. Gibson Pritch Chrome price, $55. So just for this right here, they want fifty-five dollars, I guess. Ah, oh, that's kind of expensive. Yes, this. This empty bag. So, but there's a lot of old vintage stuff, and like we have more of the stuff that's just full of it. So we're gonna load this right now. You guys eventually will see an unboxing. Eventually, I'm gonna take all these guitar parts that we have, and different drum parts. We'll do a whole video, and you guys can help me identify some of the stuff. Check out the skateboard right here. Looks vintage. Is it under longboard? No, it's not. I mean, I don't think so. It's actually cargo trucks, hang ten. Wheels are falling apart, unfortunately. These wheels right here are Universal Grabber One. These I can't read anymore. A hang something. Did you see this one right over here? Snowboard, maybe or something? Yeah, snowboards. We have some vintage snowboards. Too. Be careful, man. Okay, here, Sorry. Let me just go through. Don't kill yourself. My bad. Okay, check out these old. Oh, that's something different. Oh, here, paint brushes. We could use that. <laughs> so when we see stuff like this, let's put it aside because this is stuff we can use for the warehouse as we do projects. Hey, Casey, don't take that one. We're gonna take that in the regular car because it's all the little drawers. Sure. So here, we're gonna look at one more box right here, real quick. I would load these. 
Okay, that's a double one. Ah! 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 Okay, this is the violin one. Trumpet, violin. Sure, Mike. I never even looked at the stuff. My pets. Pieces. Just old vintage. I mean, this is sure microphone electric with tags. This is probably from the 80s. But like I said, we have drawers full of this stuff. Check this out. We have drawers full of this stuff also. And it might not be the boxes here. I might have it somewhere else, like I said. Actually, I think I know where it might have, but I don't want to say. We have another warehouse. I'm not sure if Casey knows about it. But uh, I think I, can't, I separated all the guitar parts. Here. But I think this is violin, right? Let's see here. Case handles, I don't know. So all kinds of good stuff. And this stuff, obviously, this takes a lot more work because you got to research all the parts. But, you know, I guarantee you, like, in each one of these boxes, there's 500 to 1,000 bucks worth of stuff in here. Oh, fender foot switch. Let's see. Nope. My rest row. Rhodes ham assembly new. I don't know what that is. So a lot of cool vintage stuff coming, guys. Got to get back to work. When you see stuff that are storage units that are full of these, these like little cylinders, a lot of times this is where old people store this stuff. So when you go back to the 60s and 70s, they didn't use boxes as much for some reason, but they use these containers. It's a trick I learned a long time ago. You barely don't ever see them anymore. But uh, if you see units full of this stuff and it looks like it's household, we can ask the manager most likely it's been there for a long time. You want to buy it. A little bit of a tip. <sighs> it's getting late. Got about half of the truck loaded. All right, guys, in conclusion, it's 11.15 right now. Truck is loaded. You can see I already put the gate halfway down because um, I didn't want to jump back up just for the video. So you guys have to believe me. If you don't believe me, oh well, switch channels. We got about Probably about 85% of the unit done. It's really crazy because I thought maybe 20% was Indian Hoda House. And I'm back here. So I'm like about 90% in the unit. And there's still Indian Hoda House. You see if there's a whole box of bows. Everything is still Indian Hoda House. It's just, so it looks like the last couple of rows is gonna be warehouse stuff from the previous warehouse. The rest, I guess we must have moved already. Or oh, it's in one of those pallets, I don't know. It's probably one of those pallets because we filled up a whole back. So, and I think we put a bunch in Sal's room too. I'm, I'm not sure, but yeah, so the guy never came back, which I feel bad now because I had to be aggressive with him in order for him to leave me alone, but he was aggressive with me. And when I returned the aggression, then he left me alone, but I feel bad because I just realized I have a moving blanket down there. And if you really just needed a blanket, which I don't think so, I think that was a different spin to the story because he was high as hell. But if you really just needed a blanket, I could have told him, hey, I'll give you a moving blanket, which I would have. I didn't think of it at the time. But the guy was so coming at me, like trying to intimidate me into doing what he wants me to do that, I don't know, my defense mechanism kicked in. Anyway, hopefully he's safe. We'll say a prayer for him tonight. And um, don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. We'll be, we're going to load this tomorrow. We'll show some video footage of this stuff. This will probably be in a Sunday video. The video shot right now should be a Friday video. And uh, we'll come back for this last low on Thursday. So today is Tuesday. Tomorrow, I think we're just going to unload the truck at the warehouse. And we're going to spend some time cleaning the warehouse. You know, don't kill the kids tomorrow. The wife, the kids, me. And I feel good. I feel accomplished. I got a truckload ready for tomorrow. So it's going to be less stress on them. And yeah, we'll get this done. Then we're going to work on our power unit, which is mainly toys and like eight pallets of other stuff. But pallets are easy. We'll get the forklift. And then the rest is just toys. Then we're going to work on our $25,000, $26,000 buy. If you haven't seen that video, you want to watch that. And then if there's room in the warehouse, I'm going to try to empty the 10 by 50 which is all toy boxes. So it's a lot of stuff. It's probably about four to five truckloads of this. Probably four. But at least it's toys, so it shouldn't be too heavy, most stuff. So that's nice. And I kind of want to, I want to do that at the very end if we have room because toys are going to be processed fast. And that's going to be our number one thing we want to process for the Christmas season, obviously. So anyway, that's it, guys. Lights out. I'm going to go home. I'm going to watch some Star Trek. Take a hot shower. Maybe have Casey make me some oatmeal. 
I don't eat the sandwich till 4.30. I bet everybody is worried about my weight. So I probably don't eat anything anymore tonight, but man, I'm sure I burned off like three, 4,000 calories plus the 2,000 you do, because I was started this morning, now it's 11 at night, basically moving boxes all day. It's like the good old days when I had to do it. Now I choose to do it, but you know, there was a time when I had to do it. So anyway, we're out of here. God bless you guys. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff.